And now the only group of settings left is this mapping under node processor. So I'm going to click that. Now what this page does is allow us to associate columns in our CSV file with fields. Now none of these actually match up with what we want. The source title doesn't match up with any of our column names. If we go back to our CSV file, you'd see that name is the name that we're going to set as the title with a capital N. So we need to remove this. So I'm going to click check remove there. For body, it's not body, but it's actually, if we go back to our CSV file, description that we want to import. So I'm going to go back to the browser and select remove here. We don't have a published date, so I'll click remove. And we don't have a unique ID, so I'm going to click remove here. And then I want to click save in order to remove all of those. Okay, so now we have no mappings and we can start clean from scratch here. So we're going to want to import three items. I'm going to go back to our CSV file. We're going to import the name, the description, and the image. Now the image we're going to need some additional settings for, but we'll go ahead and set it as the default importer for now and see what happens when we import. So I'm going to go back to the browser and for the title, I'm going to type in name. And for target, I'm going to select title and I'll click add. Okay, so there's our first one. The next one is going to be description to body. And then for target, I'm going to select body and I'll click add. And finally, it's going to be image. I'm going to jump back to our CSV file and see its image. It's actually the word image. So I'll go back to the browser and I'll enter an image here. And for the target, we'll select image and click add.